is once you do find a good contractor, uh, save their number, keep it on hand, keep it in mind for other things. <laughs> is up beautiful people of the world welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to talk about how I had to replace my water heater okay so what happened was we woke up one morning and we didn't have any more hot water and we were like what the heck I wonder why not so the first thing that we did was we called um, pg and &E and we scheduled an appointment pg and &E is our gas company here in California, Northern California. And we called them out because we thought the pilot light had just went out. Uh, but we also tried to light it ourselves by reading the instructions and that that didn't work or it was lit. I don't remember. No, it didn't work. So then uh, after that, we called a plumber that specialized in water heaters and different plumbing things. And we got a quote. And the first quote that they gave us, or the quote that they gave us, was for $4,000. And that was crazy, right? I was like, I am not gonna pay $4,000. So then I called Home Depot, because I have a credit card with them, and I was gonna use my credit card if I could, and then pay it off later in two big lump sums. So then when I call Home Depot, they give me a quote of $1,800. So it was like a no-brainer. So if you're a homeowner and you need to replace your water heater, I highly recommend calling Home Depot because they have contracts with contractors and they can probably give you a little bit better deal. Plus, if you have a Home Depot credit card, then it all works out. The other thing is, Home Depot was able to schedule someone out right away, like within a day or two, whereas the other plumber that we got the $4,000 quote from wasn't going to be able to schedule anyone out for like a week. And so it was just a crazy experience, crazy time. The quote that Home Depot gave us uh, was $1,800 and that was installation, everything included, permitting and all. So if your water heater ever goes out, I highly recommend calling Home Depot if you are not skilled in doing that repair yourself. Here in California, we have certain, certain permits and things that need to be, you know, taken or whatever as a homeowner. So, so yeah, the, I'd highly just recommend to call Home Depot. And, or just get more than one quote, really. You don't wanna just stick with one quote because then they, then you might end up spending more money than you need to. And so the guy was in and out within like four hours, I think, not even that, that might be a lot, but I wasn't paying attention. And we had our hot water back on within like a day. So it was great. We didn't have to go too many days with hot water, which would have been terrible because we have so many people living in our house and we have the kids, mainly the baby. She likes lukewarm baths, so. So yeah, if you're new to my channel and you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is, is once you do find a good contractor, uh, save their number, keep it on hand, keep it in mind for other things. I have one rental property and the water heater to that house ended up going out, but I was already planning for that, I was already saved for that because the water heater was really old and I've owned the house for 10 years. So I did the same thing, called Home Depot, got a quote, they came out within like a day or two and we got that changed out and my tenants were happy. It wasn't, the water heater wasn't all the way broke, causing a problem, but it was leaking and causing other problems. So stay tuned for another video to come about leaks and homeowners insurance. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and catch us on the next one. Bye.